Hello everyone, thank you for joining us. We're going to get started in a few seconds, but I can see that we've got a lot of people uh, actually signing in at the moment. So we'll just play um, the beginning slide for a few seconds. I want to make sure that everybody is in before we start because there's a great deal to cover and we're going to try and do this fairly quickly. So this is article amplifier, more traffic, more exposure, guaranteed, and you'll see why we guarantee it in a moment. Before we get started properly, while people are still signing in, in the question box, if you could let me know whether you're hearing and seeing, it, seeing everything okay with some yeses. I'm getting yeses already. Wonderful. It's great. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, so thanks for joining us. I'm Eamon Moulton. You can see me highlighted in the green there from Prosperative. Now, we're going to try and keep this to under an hour. It depends on how many questions you've got, of course, but we'll try to keep it to under an hour because what we're going to show you is simple in terms of understanding. It is difficult to do manually, which is why we've got a solution for you, but it's a simple thing to do, but extremely powerful. So what is the big deal? Well, we're going to talk to Josh in a moment about this. So Josh, are you there? Is your microphone switched on? I'm here. Good to be here. Cool. So um, we, one of the things we talked about is guaranteed extra exposure and traffic. And look, everybody wants more traffic. Everybody wants more exposure for their websites. But the truth is most people, and we do mean most people, are not doing the things that guarantee more traffic. We're going to talk about why in a moment, and we're going to talk about the solution. But essentially, since we all want more traffic, we're all wanting the same thing. But we're not all doing the same thing. And, you know, they do say that success leaves clues. So if you do the things that people who are already getting success, what they do, you've got a much better chance of getting success as well. If you do what everybody else is doing, the ones who aren't getting all the traffic that they're looking for and so on, you're likely to get the same results as them. So you've got to change what you do in order to get different results. So, yeah, we all want traffic. That's fine. We know that keeping up with a blog is hard work, coming up with new content. And that's why multiplying or amplifying your content makes the most sense. Because if you spend an hour doing some work and you can get five hours worth of work out of it, well, of course, you've saved time, but you've also increased your exposure and your reach by sort of, let's say, a factor of five. So blogs, everybody's doing them. That's cool. But audio is big. Now, we're going to talk about some stats in a moment, um, and I'm going to discuss this with Josh, because audio is massive. Josh, I know you've done a ton of research on this in terms of these statistics and figures. Now, uh, one of the things, and I think we've had it in the email this week, how much audio are people, how much audio are they actually listening to on a regular basis, and how many people are listening to this? It's a crazy number, and it's one of the big reasons why we created uh, Article Amplifier. Uh, about 80% or 8 out of 10 U.S. Internet users um, consume audio content. Now, audio content can be an audio book. It can be a podcast. It can be any number of things, uh, but it's a huge number of people. And the, the big thing here is that the trend is sharply rising. And it seems like it's sharper every year. But yet the number of yeah. Internet marketers, of bloggers, of people like us who actually produce regular content is very, very low. And I think that's going to change for, for many of us here starting today. Eight out of ten people. That, in reality, that's everybody, isn't it? I mean, almost everybody. And it's increasing. Now, if we think about what that means, and we'll talk about video in a moment, and we're going to prove these points to you, by the way, in a fun little experiment. If you think about it, if that many people are consuming audio content, and I think it was that many um, consume audio content every month on a regular basis, I, that's a lot of people who like audio content, right? They are looking for audio content. If you're not giving people what they want, they're going to look elsewhere. That's obvious. So audio content, if that many people are searching for it and consuming it, we've got to be giving people that, right? Uh, it's, it's as simple as that. Now, audio is big. That's great. We know that. So let's uh, just go to the next slide. I want to do something for fun, so please bear with me. We've never done this next little bit of fun um, before. I think it will make the point. What I want to do is prove to you how important audio 
really is. Okay, so to do this, I just have to mute myself. Let's see what happens. I hope you're still with me. We've never done an experiment like that before. It's a little bit of fun. We did text on screen, no talking, no audio. Then we had a black slide with no sound, no words, nothing. What I want to establish is how uncomfortable it feels to just be forced into consuming a particular type of content. Think about what we're doing right now. This is purely audio and, and video. It's, it's hey, images. Man, we have people commenting saying, I lost the audio. Audio, please. Audio, please. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Brilliant. Brilliant. So you lost the audio. You think something's wrong. You, uh, image goes, and I told you what was happening before this started, and people still think something's wrong. It, what I would like to ask is, how many of you felt kind of weirdly disconnected or uncomfortable when there was no sound? Because I can tell you, at this side, it felt weird for me as well, not speaking. And that was text. Now, remember, blogs essentially are just text, which is how content first started is text. There's more to giving content to people these days than just text. You think about multimedia. You think about people with smartphones. OK, so let me just see the some schools. Yes, everybody's getting it now. That's great. Thanks. Cool. So, yeah, it's strange. And it was boring, Chris is saying, and you felt disconnected, Merv was saying. Michael said it was strange. Or says it was weird. So, yeah. Um, Valerie's saying she prefers text over video, and that's fine. We're not talking about abandoning text. We're talking about augmenting it. Because when you augment your content, you allow multiple types of visitors to enjoy the content the way they prefer. If I like to read a book, wonderful i'm going to buy a book if i like to listen to audible i'll buy an audible and listen or listen to radio or whatever if i like to see a film i'll go see a film i get to choose now you think about books being made into film adaptations you think about soundtracks from some of these films these are different forms of content that appeal to different people but by having the same essentially the same content in multiple formats, you extend the reach. It's actually as simple as that. Now let's go back to video, it's massive. Again, the numbers were ridiculous. Josh, you did some statistics on this. And again, um, in fact, this is even bigger than audio, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's about uh, four times. So it's, it's every week, eight out of 10 consume video at least once a week. Many, a good chunk of those consume it once a day. Now uh, with audio, it's it once about a 50, month. 55, yeah, about 55% watch video every day, 80% at least yeah. once a week. Uh, and, and by the way, the number of minutes and hours that people consume video is high as well. So there's a real, a real demand for that type of content. Wonderful. You all know this, I think, deep down. It's not really news to you. We're telling you things you probably already know. So as Josh asked in one of the emails, if you know this, why aren't you doing it? And probably most of you aren't. In fact, just out of interest, could I get a yes from everyone who is doing text, video and audio? Just out of interest, I'd like to see. Or you put a no if you're not doing that. So how many of you are doing text, video and audio? as a regular thing, and how many are not? Just a Y or an N, just so I can see. Lots of no's there, Josh, can you see? Lots of no's, yeah. 
So that's what we'd expect, quite honestly. Um, and it's not a yeah, big surprise. Sorry, so, I mean, I was distracted. Yeah, yeah there are a yeah. lot. So here's a question for you. Why isn't everybody doing audio and video? I have a theory on this, OK? So my personal theory, uh, based on my experience of when I didn't do audio and video, which is a long time ago when I first started doing it, but I know how I felt before I started doing it. I think a lot of people are scared. Look, some people are scared of being judged on how they look, on how they sound. I know that because we have people telling us that. Many of our subscribers tell us the same thing over and over. I couldn't do that because. I couldn't do it because I hate how I sound. Well, other people may not hate how you sound. I couldn't do it because I don't, I, I remember um, one subscriber who would never go on video uh, because she didn't like how she looked. But nobody else had the same feeling about that other than her. Everybody who saw her in real life just saw a normal person. But she had a view that people would suddenly feel different on video. It, it, it doesn't work that way. It really doesn't. So we know that many people are scared. But also, look, it's difficult. It, it, making audio and video, yeah, you need equipment. It can be difficult. And then you've got to record things twice. And if you, as I did earlier today, um, I had my dogs were barking. So I had to record a training video a couple of times and, and that kind of a thing. So we understand it can also seem very difficult. But what if, what if you don't have to do this yourself and it's actually easy? If you can get the benefit of ex, uh, extra exposure and traffic by doing audio, video and, and multiplying your content, that's great. But what if you can do it the easy way? So let's actually take a look and how easy it can be. So we're going to go to the demo now. Uh, so you can see on screen, this is um, just the timer showing you that there's a limited time to get the launch offer. But this is what Article Amplifier is like. It's very straightforward. Now, your projects, you can you know, make as many of these as you want. Essentially, what you do is you set up your blogs and you can have as many blogs in here as you want. You add the blog details, that's in the training area, so I'm not going to show you this, but you add your name, your password, the blog, and so on. You can add YouTube channels. If you have more than one, you can you know, add more than one channel. And you can also do the same with podcasts through Podbean. Podcasts are for audio, so it's like a YouTube for audio. Your projects are where you actually do something with your content. Now, you can take existing content and amplify it, or you can use PLR content and, or type it in and so on. So if I uh, go into, let's just do a new job here. So I'm actually going to open up the Prosperity blog because I want to show you an actual blog entry. And I'll show you how we can take our own existing content and reuse it. Or you can use new content. So it works on existing content. Um, I've got a slow internet today, by the way, so you'll have to bear with me. Gosh, that is slow, isn't it? So while that's happening, I'll just create a new job. So in the top here, we can look at existing blog content. And by the way, please don't steal somebody else's. Uh, you know, you, it needs to be your own content or content that you're allowed to use. So the top section is existing content that is already published on the blog. You can translate it into multiple languages. You can create videos from it, and you can create audio. A couple of clicks, and it will do all that for you. Or if you prefer, if you have some PLR articles or you've written something yourself, you can copy and paste the article into these fields here that I'm showing you now. And then you can amplify those. So you get a couple of, a couple of um, options there. OK? So let's have a look at the blog. Uh, it's just coming a bit slow because I'm not quite sure. I'm, I'm actually on a Mac at the moment, but um, have you got an example URL, Josh, that I can use from everything about Germany? I don't. Uh, I don't write at no, this no, moment. Uh, sorry, no, okay. I'm doing the comments, and I'm. I sure. can look for okay. one here in a moment if you can't get no, one. No, that's slow. fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Let's uh, let me just see if I can uh, get a an entry here. And of course, being live, sometimes this happens, so you'll have to bear with me. Um, so what I'll do is I'll actually show you with a, an article in here 
um, and I'm going to copy and paste. This is interesting. I'm actually going to copy and paste from the email that Josh sent earlier. So this was the um, email for the promo. Hey, Eamon, were You're... you trying to show? Yeah, go ahead. Were you trying to show an example of a finished article that you had published? Uh, yeah. We were um, trying, I, oh, yeah, we've got one here. Yeah, okay. okay. Oh, it's loaded. So I, I was loaded, just going to say that that could have to do with the updates that uh, that our coders doing on the yeah, site there that might be causing that. Okay, so that's loaded. I'll show you the the existing blog content in a moment. But look, I'm going to show you. Um, this is where you can put in new content if you want. I'm just going to paste in. Um, the email that John uh, sent earlier. And this content can be anything, it can be something you've written yourself. I'm just going to get rid of the extra spaces. Right, so it could be new content, it could be old content, it could be PLR, it could be anything. Uh, and that means it's very flexible because if you want to, you can multiply all your existing blog content or you can start with new content. So depending on whether you've already got content on blogs uh, or you're starting fresh, you can do both. I'm going to translate this article into, let's say, I'm going to do Spanish and I'm going to create a video with the dark template. You see we've got a couple of templates in here. We're going to be adding new templates to this so they just have a different look and feel. And I'm going to create, um, let's have a look. I like the Matthew voice. There we go. So I'm going to create some audio, I'm going to translate it into Spanish, and I'm going to create a video. Now, this article could be anything. Okay? It could be anything. It could be PLR that you've bought. It could be something you've written yourself. Um, you know, lots of ways to get that kind of information. So let's click on Amplify down here, this blue button, and watch what happens. So while that's happening, I'm just going to see if we've missed any questions. Josh, um, anything we need to answer? There's a lot of questions there, here. I'm just trying yeah, there to are, scroll. There through. are a few. We have uh, one person, well, actually several people have asked about, uh, I think there's some confusion between, uh, I think it was post amplifier, an old product we used to have, and oh, yeah. article amplifier. So just to clarify, they're absolutely, totally separate, absolutely no. Yes. Uh, yeah. similarities in them, totally different tools. A um, few others here. Um, if I can sift, there's a lot of them here. I'm trying to sift through here. Okay. Um, what was well, the name we'll, of the we'll podcast place? It's Podbean. Oh, Podbean. Uh, Podbean. For now. We're going to show you that we're as well. On adding more. We'll show one one big question. Too. We've had several. I mean, we've had several people ask, uh, must the blog be in WordPress? And the answer is no, you can amplify any content. You can just paste in text. It will create the audio, the translations, the video, all this, all that. Uh, the only yeah. limitation is that you can only post and pu actually publish from within Article Amplifier uh, to a WordPress blog. But, but no, yeah. you can amplify any text. So it's very flexible. As you can see here, I put some text in. I happen to copy and paste it. You could write this yourself, but it's fresh. Now, um, you see that there's various windows here. So the audio and video files are being created. I've got English video, English audio, Spanish article, Spanish video, Spanish audio, and I download them. So the English audio, I'm going to download here. So you just click and download. Then I'm going to you take also, the um, Spanish. You can also download all these uh, down towards the page, this pop-up here. Yeah. These are just for convenience, so you can download it quickly. Yeah. Um, so as, as soon as it's available, you, these windows will appear. And once it's downloaded, you can get rid of them, of course. So I've got English audio, Spanish audio, English video. Now, the Spanish video is taking a little bit longer because it's, it's queued sequentially. I've got English text, which we've already had anyway, and I've got Spanish text, so let me download that as well. So I download these to my computer. I've got them safe to use any way I choose. And if I've got a virtual assistant, I can send this to them. They can post for me wherever they want. So that's the, um, the Spanish one. And the Spanish video is ready now as well, so I'm going to click that and let that download. And then we'll come and have a look at the... Um, posting existing blog content. Remember, this is not meant to be a full tutorial. You're going to get a video uh, when you log into the members area that shows you how to use it. And we're going to do the training uh, 
as well. So what I've got now, if I scroll down, as Josh mentioned, I can download the video here, download the audio. So I've got English and Spanish, because that's what I chose. But if I chose another options, they would show here. And uh, Eamon, preview. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, uh, real quick. Uh, just this part right here. I mean, there, there's mm -hmm. huge, so much work has been done and saved already just, just at this point. If you scroll up and yeah. down, you'll see you have all of that, all of the translations, all of the audio, and all the video. They're done. They're there. All you do is download yep. them. You have them. You can do with whatever you want. Everything beyond this is just further reducing the time. I mean, the, the greatest amount of time you spend is creating the video, is creating the audio, is, is getting the translations. That's all done. And now everything beyond this point, which is basically click button. I mean, but you just click a button and it's done. And now it's just further reducing that time that you had to spend by, uh, by getting it published to your blog and all that stuff. And again, that's optional. Uh, maybe you don't have a WordPress site. Maybe you have a different type of site, HTML, whatever it is. Uh, still, you have all, all this, you know, done, download it, put it wherever you want, blast it all over the internet, uh, and you're good to go. Yeah, I mean, it's it's difficult to understand just how much work has been done here because we, we were talking, but a couple of clicks and we've got all kinds of stuff going on. So you can preview your audio. In fact, let me just do the Spanish. You probably won't be able to hear it because there's, there's no loop back for this, but uh, if I turn the sound up, you might be able to. Let me just see. Have we got the sound playback now? Um, I may play the, the audio file and we've got the videos well down at the bottom here. Um, so these are what we call explainer videos. It's just loading. Um, and I've got the English and Spanish version. So I can create both of them with a couple of clicks. Now, let me just show you the options for posting. So YouTube, currently, you would log into YouTube, post your video in the normal way. And then when you've done that, you can actually select your YouTube channel here. And it will know which videos you've got on your channel, and you can pick the latest one to publish to your blog. And what that, that means will you do can, is actually embed that, yeah, embed it into your yeah. blog post. And I was going to say that what that means is also um, you don't only have to embed the content that you've created with Article Amplifier. Perhaps you have other videos on your YouTube channel. You'd like to embed them as well, or instead, you can do that. Yeah, so um, I haven't actually uploaded it to YouTube yet because I'd have to log in. But once you've uploaded to YouTube, and we will be adding a feature for auto upload later, um, then you can choose the video from here. You can also embed the podcast into the blog. You do have to upload it to the podcast first. I haven't done that yet. So again, remember this is all the training is all in the members area for you to show you how to do that. So I could choose to upload the Spanish to Podbean just by clicking here, or I could choose the English and literally just a click. So I've got an account set up there, upload, and then it's on a podcast, which is a separate format. And there are people who prefer information in audio. Now, look, if you're describing something visual, audio may not be as suitable. But if you teach people how to do things, even now, audio can be great. So that you've got, for example, step one, what you have to do is click on the big button that says upload. Step two, wait a few seconds until it tells you. Oh, well, I had a problem there, but anyway, because it's live. Uh, step two would be when you get the button that says it's finished, go back to the main page that kind of instruction and and as you can see here with this video if i just i think we have so a lot of people one. using it right now it's launch day and of yeah, course we're yeah. live so you, you always have an error when you're live so you that, don't otherwise that's the english <laughs> yeah that's the english one it created a spanish version for me as well remember now i've downloaded this to my machine so no matter what happens now if i choose to use it a different way tomorrow next week i've got all this on my machine so this one was me putting in some text into this this box. But let me just go back and show you the other way, which is the kind of the lazy man's way. So for anybody who already has a blog with content, you can amplify it. Uh, and we're going to use this one. So SEO and YouTube marketing. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the URL, this thing here, the web address of the post. And I'll show you how this can go and get the post. 
and then do all that other stuff as well. So let's just go back uh, and I need to create a new job for this because I want to show you this separately. So you'll have to bear with me because um, my internet's been playing up all day. So uh, let me just create the new job. And what I will do this time is the lazy man's way. In here, I'm going to paste that URL of the blog post. I'm going to choose my options. I'll translate into German this time. I'll create video with professional. I think I did dark last time. And I'll create uh, the voice is going to be Justin, just, just for a change, OK? So what this will do is create a video for me in English and German. It will translate the article into German as well. Go ahead, Josh. Yeah, by the way, my wife is German. I've said this on other podcasts with this text-to-speech, mm -hmm. but uh, and it fooled her. See, I, I had her listen to a a German text to text to speech file and she she had no idea it wasn't a, a human so it's really really natural yeah I'm going to show you the um, articles in a moment but uh, let me just generate the German one then we'll have a look at it so look all you've done is copy and paste your blog post URL the address of your blog post you've chosen the options uh, with the language by the way if you want to you can choose multiple uh, options so if I choose Spanish as well so that will give me English German and Spanish so those are my options in fact no I'll just stick with German because it will be quicker won't it uh, those are my options click on the button that says amplify and then sit back don't do anything else what it's going to do now is retrieve the post that's the first thing so it's reading the blog post for me it's kind of typing the article into the box uh, just below that you'll see in a second and then it's going to create translation video and audio so this is the blog post that we had that it's just retrieved for me and what it's doing up at the top you can see it's generating video audio the German article is already uh, available so let me just download that and show you that uh, and then we'll see how good it is I know we have um, a German speaker on the call at the moment so we we might uh, ask him to check how good it is so just serve that now let me come back while it's doing the other stuff I want to show you that German article if I do this uh, where was it there we go so this is the article let's just open this up to take a second or two now I appreciate that this may be a little bit small the text um, for you to see but let's have a look SEO and YouTube marketing Alan's image to you YouTube channel and again so a question that is often asked about uh, whatever that is um, optimization is something about video the short answer is yeah okay so this, this is actually based on my schoolboy understanding of German it's not bad it's not bad. so anybody who um, speaks German and wants to have a quick look at that if you can see it close enough let us know if it seems reasonable it does not have to be absolutely idiomatic German Spanish or whatever it just needs to be understandable by those people now I can tell you that if I travel and I try to speak a bit of French or German to people even though it may be halting generally they seem to accept that I'm doing the best I can to respect their language and to engage in conversation in their language rather than forcing them to speak mine and I've never had an experience where anybody has ridiculed my ability to speak another language they've always seemed to be pleased that I'm making an effort because most people don't make the effort I think the truth is that if you have a German language article like this even if it's not perfect and these are pretty good by the way even if it's not perfect people are going to appreciate that you've made an effort for them because you know it's so rare for that to happen if you think about it it's extremely rare if you're doing it you stand out from the crowd so that's the um, German let's have a look at the Spanish one uh, this one and I'll open that one that was just the short one that I typed in very quickly wasn't it so uh, it's only a short article but again you know you can see let's have a look Yeah, it, it's it's not bad Spanish, not bad Spanish, and we've got the 
uh, video here, got the audio. Let me just see if I can play that. Let's have a look. Now, it may be a little bit stuttery because we've got um, a webinar going on, so uh, it may not necessarily play properly. But um, in fact, no, I'll just play the English one. Let me just open this with quick time so you can see it, drag it over here. This is what we call an explainer video. So uh, let me mute this just for a moment. Josh, when we hey, say explainer video, what do we mean? Go ahead. Well, yeah, well, I'll answer that and then I'll make my comment. Uh, an explainer video is basically taking, uh, it's basically a video that uh, explains something. It, it provides the text um, and just puts it right on there. So you don't have to worry about, you know, images being irrelevant or anything. It's a simple video, but explainer videos, I mean, there are many explainer videos out there that have gone absolutely viral. And as far as the looks of these, I want to quickly comment on this. Some of these, the looks you may not sure. like, you know, we all have different uh, tastes. We're going to add some more templates in there. Honestly, myself, there's a few of them I didn't personally like and so I thought well, we need to add some more options in here so we're going to have more options for those but uh, yeah by the way Michael uh, he's a German native German speaker he said sehr gut sehr gut qualitat <laughs> he said very good <laughs> oh no 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 as a native German speaker he would have said it slightly differently there Josh your wife uh -oh. is going to be complaining yeah. sehr gute qualität yeah oh, so what we we've done now look so we've done this haven't we this is now all generated We've got the English we can download, the German we can download. Let me just scroll down a little bit. Uh, you've got the um, uh, audio files here, so I can choose the English to download. I can choose the German to download. Uh, I can upload the file to uh, podcast, and I can choose the, the all the videos still generating by the looks of it. Um, so I can choose the video to download, keep them safe, and then post them to my blog. Now um, I can't do the video one to the blog without logging into YouTube. And remember, we got the full training. In fact, let me just show you uh, in the help area here. We, uh, oh, I shouldn't have come away from this until it's finished. But anyway, in the help area, you've got the information about how to set up the Podbean account if you want to do podcasting. Uh, then the um, video on how to use Article Amplifier is here. And it's only about an eight or nine minute video to show you the entire thing, um, the basic usage. We're going to show you some more um, tips and techniques later. But essentially, all you need to do is choose where your article is coming from, your blog or some PLR that you bought, add it in and click a couple of buttons. That's it. Yeah, now, it's real quick and easy to see, get it yeah. Um, as you can see here, the different colors, uh, I've deleted this one, by the way, but anyway, um, that indicates that I published to a blog earlier. That indicates that I went to um, up, upload it to Podbean. That indicates that I translated. Um, so if I have a look at Podbean, I'll show you the, the actual uh, audio. This is what it looks like on Podbean. That's a podcast. When people click this, they can listen to the audio that was created for me automatically. Um, I did that earlier today, actually, and that's interesting. Uh, it's been downloaded a couple of times. <laughs> I didn't notice that. So somebody's already looked at this. And I, I, that's interesting. I don't even, this is just a demo account, which I haven't even promoted. And it, th this file has been downloaded a couple of times. And that now, that's you'll, have that with, you'll have that with your videos too on YouTube and Vimeo, and that's why we can guarantee traffic and exposure. You will. I mean, the level well, that's you know, proof. we can't guarantee. We yeah. don't know, but you you will. I, 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 yeah, I know two doesn't sound many, but remember, I'm not promoting this in any way at all, and I'm I'm actually quite surprised. That that's um, that's kind of shocked me because I wasn't expecting that. But you know, yeah, it's it's there. It's online. People can access it. So this is the Podbean, and and that was uh, already on there so essentially that that's it that's all you need to do a couple of clicks publish to your blog but the question is why does this make a difference well first of all with the language translation facility you have access to most of the world compared to what you do now the number of native english speakers i think you did the st statistics it was about 527 million people yeah but there's about seven to eight billion people on the planet, which means 93% of the people on the planet do not speak English as their native tongue. So you're missing out on that number. 
I mean, think about Absolutely that for a minute. <laughs> Just think about that. I mean, imagine if you made a, you create a product and there were 10 people who were willing to buy your product and you only went and talked to one of them and you didn't even really talk all the way to that one, less than one, <laughs> if you get what I'm saying here. I mean, how ridiculous yeah. would that be? 93% of the world population yep. that's just amazing well we can access some of them and uh, the languages that we got here would account for about two to three billion of them so you're not going to reach everybody we're not pretending you will uh, and even if you had every language in the world available you know you're not going to reach everybody on the planet but if you can increase your exposure to site visitors by two three four five times compared to what you do now that's massive if it takes you five times as long as you do now, that's still great, right? But you've just seen it click, 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 right? It's a couple of clicks here and there, and that's it. So it's very quick to do, very quick to translate, very quick to create video and audio and so on. So the real thing about this, and this is why we call it Amplify, it multiplies your efforts as well as your exposure. Because if you have to take 20 times as long to do something, can we be honest with you? We know you won't because people tell us they don't. And we when know you this asked because earlier, we get feedback. Yeah, when you asked earlier, why don't you do it? We had comment after yeah. comment after comment, and almost all of them was just time. Some of them said, oh, well, I'm just lazy. <laughs> but some of well, them said, there's not enough yeah. time. That's fine. If you're lazy, that's fine. At least you've, you've, you've got to be... Uh, you know, honest with yourself, if you don't have the time or you don't want to spend the time hours and hours every week, you're going to be doing something. We know that you've all got blogs and whether you've got one article on there or 15 or you do 20 articles a week, it doesn't really matter. Whatever your level may be, this allows you to amplify that level with a couple of clicks. OK, um, so just for fun. If anybody has a blog article that they're willing to let us uh, translate here in front of people, if you give me your URL for the blog post, uh, family friendly only, please, then we'll do that for you live. Just do that um, if somebody's got a blog post they'd like to have a look. And we'll, we'll actually do that. I'll show you again how quick and easy it is. And we'll do a translation and so on. Uh, let me Josh, you while we're waiting on the, while we're waiting on that let me answer at least one question here uh, poppy asks what podcast uh, podbean plan we recommend I'm just you don't at need that, yeah. yeah you don't need uh, a paid plan with podbean you can just create a free account and and use that that's what i've been using uh, now if your podbean account you know you really start building you're really using this you're really getting everything you can out of it you start to get a following you know Obviously, it might be a good idea to upgrade, uh, but at this point, you know, at least starting off, you shouldn't need to, to pay for that. Now, bear in mind, I've got a, a link here. Thanks um, for that. Um, so I'm going to do the blog in a second. Bear in mind that Podbean, the free account, allows you to upload three podcasts a day, 21 a week. That's 84 a month. Um, can you, are you really going to be doing that many? And if you are, then you can always upgrade. But if yeah. you're regularly doing 84 podcasts a month, then you'll be getting the benefit from that, and you should be thinking about upgrading. So uh, I'm just going to go do another uh, job here, and we'll see. I hope this um... – in fact, let me pause the screen. I'm just going to check what the blog is and what the article's about to make sure it's nothing. <laughs> Nobody's kind of uh, tricking me here. So I'm going to pause the screen for a few seconds just while I have a look at this article. Um, just in case, <laughs> you never know, do you? Um, anxiety. Oh, oh no, that's yeah, that's okay. That's, yeah, that's okay. That's yeah, that fine. should be fine. Yeah. So let's uh, do that one again. So screen should be showing again. So this is actually the the blog post that we're talking about. Now I want to say something about this, if, and hopefully. You know, um, I'm sorry, I'm not sure how to say your name, Ono Lopo, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, I hope you're not offended by this, but that is not not easy to read. It's just a ton of text. The color of the font is very similar to the background. That's That's awkward to read, and I think you might find a lot of people would move away from that rather than read the whole thing. So let's just um, create a new job. 
and I post in, I'll paste in, sorry, the content URL, choose my options. I'm going to do, I'll do German again, uh, and I'll create audio, and we'll do uh, Joey this time, just for fun. I'm not going to create a video because I just want to show you the, the basics here. So let's amplify. And um, it's struggling to get hold of this. So there may be something about your blog possibly that is blocking it. Um, there may be security issues that are stopping it from actually reading that. So if you have a lot of security on your blog, it can block us from uh, looking at the content there. Obviously, I don't know this blog because I haven't uh, set it up, but it looks as if there may be some kind of security that's blocking us from actually accessing that. So anybody else got a blog that we can uh, do the same with? Yeah, there is an, uh, at least one blog? other. A couple of right. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you see that or you want me to send that to you. Uh, I've got one here. So I'm just going to, again, yeah, I just want it. to pause one. It's fine. See what the, have you checked it? Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. I did. Yeah, it's good. Great. So, so it, I'll just yeah. paste that in. So we're going to translate to German. We're going to choose Joe again, just the same, and see what happens. While you're um, doing now that, I may need to start. And I may need to start a new um, job because it's already gone wrong on this page. Go ahead. You were saying while I'm doing that. A, a quick comment. Uh, Meg had asked a really good question. It's something, Eamon, you know that I have actually addressed uh, mm -hmm. within the team. Whenever you do a job here, it's going to show the article body. Just you can go ahead and do it if you want. Uh, yeah. And you're going to see the code right there within the text. That, Not liking that, is it? Let me see. Yeah, go ahead. You'll want to leave that code in there if you plan on publishing from within Article Amplifier because it's going to go ahead and repost re that code. And so uh, the answer is just leave the HTML alone, the code within the text. We're going to add, mm. I thought we actually already did, some text within the UI to explain that. Yeah, HTML code allows you, if you want to, to make things bold or italics and that kind of a thing. Um, if you're pulling an existing blog post, it will take the HTML that is already there. Uh, and then if you wanted to change it, you can. If you're using, say, a PLR article, Ted was asking about that earlier, um, they normally, normally they're plain text, but if you wanted to add some extra bits to it, you can do. Um, you do need to know how HTML works if you're going to do that. So, you know, if you're not sure, what I would say is leave well alone. Um, but it will actually take out the HTML for creating the video and so on. So it doesn't get messed up. And you don't need to worry too much about the behind the scenes stuff that's going on. It just kind of works for you there. So I'm not I quite sent sure. Another if, URL. If, you wanna, uh, if you want to use chat that. Or by chat. Uh, yeah. oh, I, oh, yeah. Okay. Let me just uh, try and copy it because for some reason on the Mac copying from the uh, chat box is kind of weird hmm. I'm not that's let me see if I can do it with them um, can you just click on it and keyboard, open it in your browser keyboard combination that? yeah let's have a look yeah that's that's done yeah okay so I copy it okay so this is one uh, this is a sort of a hobby site that Josh has um, because you lived in Germany, you have a lot of interest about that. So we don't want to translate it to, oh, yeah, actually, it would make sense to translate to German, <laughs> wouldn't it? So. <laughs> and I don't know, so, it, was that was that just not taking that URL, Eamon? Uh, the other ones, no, I'm, I'm not sure. There might be something about the security yeah. settings. So this is fine. It's it's read the article, and we've got a couple we have of a options. Plugin to deal yeah. with that, we'll, we'll just send that out yeah. to all article amplifier. Amplifier customers. So I can amplify immediately, or I can review the article and then make some changes if I want to. I just want to show you the amplify part for a moment because if it's an article you've already got and you're happy with, then you're happy with it, aren't you? So it's now amplifying, so it's going to go off and do the bits and pieces. Um, you can see it's pulled the article in here. It's creating English audio, German article, and German audio. So I've got English audio. Let me save that. So that's done. Um, German articles generated, so we'll pull that one as well. I'll just save that to my disk. And we'll have a look at that um, article as well, just out of interest. German audio is done as well now, so we'll download that since I'm here. I'm not going to be using these for real, but I'm downloading them just so they're done. Cool. So let me open up the article 
Well, I can find where my browser is. Where's it going again? Oh, it's here. Yeah. You know what I'd like to see? I'd like to see somebody, and we haven't done it yet, somebody translate every single uh, language that we offer, do a video, do an audio, do, I mean, everything that Article Amplifier does, get it published online and and see. I mean, you you would have tons of different pages leveraging the same one article, but yet seen by Google and other properties as different content. It just Now, let's have amazing. a look. So five great things to do in Germany, fünf tolle Dinge in Deutschland. Yeah, so that's okay. Deutschland is a wonderful art. It's a wonderful place, yeah, with a rich and long um, history to to seek or search. Um, the countryside is wunderschön. Yeah, Bergen, okay. Yeah, old churches, museums. Yeah, you know what? That's That's looking pretty good uh lab cooking cookies that's food i'm looking at food already <laughs> sorry I, c I couldn't help noticing there was something about food um you can tell what i'm thinking about can't you it's like you know um and then you can <laughs> see it's it. okay yeah music candle bit and wagner yeah classical music um christmas to celebrate yeah germany and the rest of the world charm and yeah okay many the many wonderful opera houses in germany okay where you can listen to them churches present classic concerts yeah leipzig festival okay i'm just trying to see roughly speaking how how good this is uh, it's easy to see where are we we hope that the article oh this article has given you some good ideas for things in in Germany and has inspired you to look out for even more of a wonderful trip or vacation in Germany yeah you know what that's a really good translation actually um, and it was what one click let me just get rid of that yeah, that's, so I've downloaded that's the, the text I've... just one click and you have all these five and if you would have selected multiple languages you would have had all these different translations all these different videos all these different mm -hmm. audio I mean it's just a plethora of content it's just tons of content at your fingertips with the work that you put into one or the eight or ten dollars or however much you paid to have one article written that's the power now, of I can't yeah I can't get this um, sound to come through properly but the, there's this is the German audio that was created let me just see if I can play it somewhere let's see Hang on, let me just, hmm, if if I put this onto my speaker, it's possible that I might be able to, I'm just going to change my settings and uh, turn my speaker on really loud um, just for a moment so that hopefully, hopefully you'll be able to hear that, um, that translated into audio. So I'm going to put my microphone close to the the sound quality will be poor i apologize einem reichen und langen erbe zu besuchen die landschaft ist wunderschön die burgen und mittelalterlichen dörfer sind charmant die alten kirchen sind atemberaubend und die museen sind unübertroffen besuch der gedenkstätten und sehenswürdigkeiten well that was enough i think but uh, it gets it gives you the idea <laughs> yeah i mean that sounded brilliant didn't it so uh, michael i know you were listening to that would you tell us what it sounded like to you as a a german Oh, he's already said, very good sound quality, sounds totally human. Uh, and Michael is actually from Germany, so I think that says it all, doesn't it? So we've got the German audio there, but we also have the English audio, because that's what we chose. So let me just uh, tidy up a little bit. So uh, you can see here that we've got, you know, it, it's essentially, it, it's a one-click process for all of this, and you can have as many blogs added into your account as you want. You can have as many YouTube channels as you've got. Um, and then at the moment for the podcasts, we're, we're only working with Podbean, but we're going to be add, adding other providers as well. Hey, Amy, now, yeah. We have we have several people, quite a few people asking to see the video. Could you show the, or did you download the video? Uh, let me have a look, I'll have to find it. I did. Uh, let's but I wanna, I wanna reiterate what I said earlier. Uh, we're going to add more templates and it's not a big job. It's actually pretty simple. I think we should be able to get those in. Uh, I'm not going to say 
for sure because we haven't talked to the coder, but I don't think it'll be difficult at all or time consuming. And so we're going to have quite a few different options. A few of them I, I, I personally don't like, but we all have our own personal uh, opinions. And so sure. we can change the text. We're going to add a, a variety of uh, options to where you have different background options, different uh, yeah. font so colors. Bear in mind that these these are meant to be quick and easy videos. So and and people watch them. We know. I'm going to put the speakers on so you can hear that. This is the English um, version. So hopefully you'll be able to hear this. But and again, the sound quality won't be so good because it's coming through my microphone from the speakers. But hopefully you'll, you. This is the English version of the first article we looked at. Your traffic is about to increase. We know this is a bold claim, and that many of our subscribers, who know we don't make bold statements like that lightly, are wondering how we're able to make it. So let me tell you why. We all know that video and audio content consumption is on the rise. That may be the understatement of the century. Yet, that is the, I mean, it's amazing. That let is just the best text-to-speech. I mean, I remember 10 years ago. I remember a few years ago, text-to-speech was totally robotic. Now you see videos with millions of views using this technology that we're using uh, for this text-to-speech. It's really good, and it only gets better. That was, it was superb. Um, let's have a look. Ah, Mandy's got a great question here. For the German demo on the audio, did we change the speed or do anything to the audio to make it sound so natural? No, we didn't do anything. I clicked German, I clicked Amplify, that was it. Uh, oh, good question from Cheryl. Is there a best word size or word count for articles? 250 words, 300, 500. Um, this is one of those things where you can choose what you want to do because it's flexible. If you have an article on your blog, say, that's a thousand words, you may want that translated into German or Spanish or whatever, word for word, so it's a thousand words or thereabouts. That's fine. For explainer videos, a thousand word video, it doesn't work very well for the kind of person who will watch them. Sounds like a problem, right? Except it isn't because you can edit, let me show you what I mean. You can edit the text before you create the video. So you can take out, let me just show you what I mean. If I wanted to, I could just have this very, very short um, article here and create a video so that I would have a suitable explainer video. I wouldn't have a thousand word or two thousand word article as an explainer video because they're simply too long for people to sit and watch. Maybe 250, 300 words, sure, but even lower might be fine. Um, so you can kind of mix and match and because you can edit uh, the article before you create the video, you get the option to do full word translation, full word audio, but shortened version for the explainer video. So that's a really powerful way of kind of um, bringing the changes with your content. So that's very, very flexible. And by the way, I'm saying you could make the explainer video shorter. The truth is you could make it longer if you wanted to. Uh, I, I wouldn't make it a long explainer video. They tend to work best. Josh, I think in the past one, we've looked at the stats. Did we say up to up to about two minutes is, is about as long as you want to go on explainers? Uh, I think that's probably ideal. I don't remember the exact stats, but I also know that when we were especially, we, we there was a period of time where we were really digging into, we were even using software to dig in to find some pretty impressive stats and numbers, data, yeah. and we found tons of explainer videos that were super long, super short, just all over the place, and some of them were incredibly ugly and <laughs> horribly done and yet having you know tons some of them had millions of views so i think it's probably ideal that it's a couple minutes but you they go by they can go viral just explainer videos just believe it or not absolutely um i've got a question here which uh, i think is a great question uh, i want to answer this one can we use the videos that we create in some kind of uh, video tool to add to it or change it and so on, modify it. Well, you can. So I'm just going to do that now. So that's the video. I'm just using Camtasia. That's the video that was created. You can see this here. Uh, I'm going to add some, let's have a look. 
I'm going to show you just very quickly what we can do. Let's have a look. Music, that one. So what I've done now is add a music track, which, um, you know, it, it's that simple. Let me just make this a bit bigger. So there we go. That's a simple uh, music track I've added. And I'm just going to um, cut, and I forget for, for this one, where's the... I don't use the um, Camtasia on Mac very often. What Do, do you know what the um, tool is for... Cutting. For what? For cutting, I'll I'll just do it this way, not to worry. Well, you just cut so, down the timeline down there. You talk, what are you trying to yeah. cut? No, I've done it. It's okay. So what oh. I'm doing now, I've added a, a music track. So that's fine. Oh, you won't hear, will you? Let me just let me put that back onto speakers and show you what I mean. So that took what a couple of seconds. To increase, we know this is a bold claim, and that many of our subscribers who know we don't. Because that music is far too loud, but you get the point. So I'll come back to my headsets. <clears throat> so you can also add um, transitions. So let's have a look if I wanted to. So transition, um, I'll use, that's a, a hideous one, but just, just you know, to, to sort of show you. Yeah, let me just drag it down. So let's have a look. <laughs> That's awful, but <laughs> you know you can add any of these, and, and you do fades and all the rest of it, and um, whatever effect your video tool can add, you can add that in. Here's another one. Let me just do this for fun. So I'm going to do a custom animation here. So let's just see. Uh, Let's just have a look how that looks, if I've done it right. No, I haven't. Just one second. So you, 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 can, you can change things any way you like, basically, um, in hey, your Amen. tool just, of choice. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I don't mean to cut in. We're, we're at the one, minute, one hour mark. I just want to... Oh, no, we've gone over, yeah. gone over again. Let me, let me come out quickly. Okay, so let me tell you about the deal because, you know, that, that's kind of important. <laughs> we've we've um, taken a little bit long again I mean, and we've had a lot of questions which i'm i'm happy to any other questions i'm happy to take separately okay but let's tell you what the deal is so the, there's an offer where you choose from the main section the main sales page whether you get 1000 credits or 2000 credits at the moment it's a one-time deal for the launch offer that expires friday at midnight eastern standard time new york time so if you're on the pacific coast it's not midnight where you are it's New York time. That's when the midnight uh, hours chime. $67 one time for 1,000 credit credits. But the best value, of course, is the 97 deal at 2,000 credits. But after the launch, so this means one second after midnight Friday, it's going up to a subscription, an annual subscription. Now, you go to articleamplifier.com. I'm going to show you the, uh, the page again in a second. And you'll see that there's an option at the top to order now. When you click on that, it will take you to this orange button. And then you get the option when you click on here to choose the 1,000 credits or the 2,000 credit option. I think it may say it's annual on there, but that's because after launch it will be. But right now, it's actually a one-time payment. So you choose the option you like, the 2,000 at 97 or the 1000 at 67 put in your name your email click on paypal and then you'll get your account what will happen is i can't show you because i actually have to buy this um, after you make the payment you'll see an offer for text suite it's on special pricing uh, if you accept that or you don't accept it, you'll still come to the same page afterwards when the payments are completed. By the you way, can, so real quick, Eamon, please, I just want to I just want to comment on that. Text Suite is one of our most popular content tools, and I highly recommend. This is the the deepest discount we've ever given. I, I believe we've ever given on Text Suite, and this is a yeah. very complimentary tool to allow you to produce way more text. You can create tons of articles with TechSuite that you can then amplify. And I mean, you could be sitting on 
hundreds or I mean several hundred pieces of content just ready to publish and just bring in traffic so highly recommend you grab that OTO it's not required you don't need it for a to function but it is a, a, a very very good deal that will really help you yeah and particularly if you don't already have a lot of blog content online it's a good idea to get some content and start putting it on there because think about what this means every time you add a blog post to your blog you can now add audio you can add video you can add language translation and I'm not going to go into this in great detail but I'll give you something to think about you can curate your own content on as many of your own blogs as you wish and publish to them from within article amplifier I'm saying that slowly because I want that to sink in so if you have a blog on weight loss and you put in a nice article, you can translate it, create video and so on, and then publish it to another of your blogs. If you have a lot of footprint out there, we have a lot of what they call virtual real estate, you pick up more traffic simply because the aggregate number increases when you, when you have a lot more pages out there. This is not the same as spamming Google and, and doing keyword um, uh, you know keyword stuffing or anything like that this is actually putting content out good content as well on two different blogs which will all rank for slightly different keywords so you can actually publish to multiple of your own blogs from a single article so you could set up a blog for weight loss let's just say weight loss put on a ton of articles then create French articles to a separate blog that's all in French you could have a third blog where you just have the videos you could have another one for Spanish I mean you know think about what that means you could also have another one that's just uh, the articles in English with the podcast so you've got the audio there's a multiplicity of ways that you can use that and that's why we call it article amplifier it takes a single article and amplifies the reach and the exposure that you can have from that one piece of content but it does it in a way that does not require you to sit and slave so uh, when you've paid here the thing that you need to understand is after a few seconds you will see a page that will give you your username and your login you will also get a welcome email please check your spam folder it sometimes goes in there by mistake but you will get a welcome email with your login details for article amplifier and we've had sales coming in for article amplifier throughout the whole webinar usually people hold off until the end uh, in, in most webinars but we've had people just been coming in throughout the entire thing so a lot of people are seeing the value in article amplifier so if you haven't already grabbed your license grab it now so right now is the time to if you're going to order article amplified amplifier this is a launch offer a thousand credits or two thousand credits you can choose and uh, let me just show you the next slide right now until midnight EST New York time Friday you get this for a one time of 67 for the thousand credits or one time of 97 for the 2000 credits but immediately after the launch this is an annual subscription now if you're ordering right now off the webinar it may say annual on the sales letter please ignore that it is a one time you're fine if you're ordering after midnight it is annual subscription you've missed the deal so you need to be taking advantage of this before midnight Friday the whatever the date is I've forgotten Josh what date are we I've forgotten 17 19th is it or 18th 18th Friday the 18th yeah yeah so please please do take action as quickly as you can let me just show you the uh, link to go to articleamplifier.com I'm going to show you the page again so it's articleamplifier.com you'll see up at the top here it says order now when you click on that it takes you down to the orange button and from there you get the option of 2,000 credits which is the best value or 1,000 credits and this is right now until the end of the launch period this is a one-time payment wow, after the launch are... period mm, sorry I'm jumping on <laughs> yeah depending yeah. on it so uh, we need to finish because we did promise an hour and we've got over as usual but you've, you've given us some great questions um, so thank you very much for that if we didn't get your question please do send it through and we'll try to answer as many times as we can I have to uh, say we one will more be sending thing. out a replay yeah please do yeah uh, Steve said vastly better than a product I bought 
uh, to do this earlier this month. I bought a translator earlier this month, but the voiceover quality is poor and the videos are getting a lot of YouTube downvotes. I think I'll get a refund and buy oh. this one. That's awesome. Uh, I actually don't even know about that product. We obviously didn't hear about it. We thought we were the first to the market, but that's good to hear. We're doing better. So, amen. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, and so, you know, use this and, and anybody who has any content, if you can make more of it without having to do a ton of work, you know that phrase we all love, work smarter, not harder. You've done some work getting a blog post online or you've bought some PLR, use it, reuse it, repurpose it, get it out there, have as many people as possible seeing it. And you do that by working smarter, not harder. We've provided a solution that will do that for you with a couple of clicks like I showed you earlier on. It's click, click, click and you're done. Uh, and and a, how simple is that? You really don't need to be doing a ton of work. You just need to click your options. Am I doing Spanish or German? Am I doing Russian, Chinese or whatever? Am I going to have a, a video? Am I going to have language translation? Which of those options do I want? That's as hard as it gets, choosing which of the options you want. And that really is pretty simple. So thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate that uh, everybody. Uh, we've I, gone I way over as morning. usual. I'm I'm sorry, Please. I got to. There's, there's just a couple Please more do. I want to answer real quick. We promised sure. we'd answer questions, and there's a few remaining. Uh, somebody asked about Chinese. Yes, we already have Chinese language. Somebody asked about Spanish. Yes, we also have Spanish, German, uh, Japanese. What else? Spanish, Chinese, Russian. Uh, German, <laughs> Japanese, and Russian. Russian. Uh, and then the credits. We have a lot of questions about the credits. Eamon, do you have that breakdown handy? Otherwise, we might just have to uh, send that later. Yeah, um, at the moment, the if I remember correctly, so uh, if it changes, I'll send it out with the replay. But if I remember correctly, um, audio and language translation are one credit for up to 500 words. So if you do 600 words, that's two credits. If you do 1,000 words, that's two credits. If you do 500 words, that's one credit. So essentially, it's it, it blocks of 500 uh, is a credit. And if you do an audio, of 500 words, that's a credit. If you do a video as well, that would be another credit. So it's it's two. Um, if the article was a thousand words, and you did an audio and a language, then that would be two credits. If you did two languages of 500 words, then that would be two credits. So essentially, um, each language translation will cost you, um, depending on the number of words, and the audio also. Audio and it's nominal, creation. especially considering how much content you're getting, how much traffic potential you're getting. Steve also said, I could be using this every day for the next few years. Incredible value, exclamation mark. And sales are pouring in. I'm actually, I mean, I knew this was going to do well, but people are really seeing the value. And I'm really glad. I'm glad because so many Internet marketers pass on. We've sold some of our most powerful tools in the past have had uh, less sales than we expected and then other tools where uh, you know we knew it was a good tool we knew it was going to be helpful but maybe not quite as good as this other one and and they sell more and so a lot of times the actual real value does not result in this is not parallel to the sales well it looks like in this case we find <laughs> that that is the case and so we're a lot well, of people bear in mind the value. simple I mean, if it's simple yeah. to use, that's, you can have the most powerful tool in the world that does everything for you. But if you can't use it, what good is it? This, this is so simple. I mean, anybody who has any kind of content anywhere can use this. You do not need to be a technology expert. You need to be able to choose what language you want. I mean, come on. How simple is that? Yeah. One um, last thing. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Yeah, the video again, uh, and we've had this asked a few times, and uh, it reiterates my own uh, thoughts. Uh, a lot of people are asking how if if you can configure the videos. You can't because that's not the tool that Article Amplifier is for. That's not the solution that Article Amplifier provides. But I will tell you that we are going to add more templates, so there are going to be some more. Uh, templates that will I think will fit just about everyone's taste so you'll see templates in there that you'll find at least one or two that you'll you'll really like so we're gonna make sure uh, that, that we we add more uh, video templates in there so everyone can pick one or two or more uh, that fit their taste 
I want to pick up on that, Josh, because I think it's important that we're honest with the audience. One of the reasons that all those options are not in there yet is that we wanted to get this out to everybody because we're coming up to the holiday season. Then there's the new year. We want you to be doing this now so that in coming into 2020, you get the benefit. If we waited to add every little bit that we think of onto it, you'd have been looking at this three months from now. What's going to happen is these extra features are going to be added on no extra cost to you. So you're going to get the font choices. You're going to get the extra languages. You're going to get the extra templates for the video creation and so on. And one other thing I want to say, this is on a personal basis. I've got a really damaged wrist right now. I'm in pain. Uh, and this is extremely difficult for me to do uh, this presentation. But I'm so excited about this product. We, we had a conversation about this, Josh and I. Well, you know, can you, will you be able to um, come on and do the webinar? I wanted to be part of this webinar, even though it's hurting me physically to do it, because this is a seriously fun product to use, tremendous power, and for anybody who has any aspirations to do anything online, you've got to have some content. Once you've got some content, you can now start to repurpose, reuse, re-energize, and get more exposure from it by click, click, click. It could not be simpler. These kinds yeah. of tools are so exciting to us, you can hear it when we talk about it, you know, because they do something that traditionally would require you to slog and, and learn new things. And, and, you know, a lot of work is saved yeah. by using the right tools. And we're not the only ones excited about this. April says, amazing tool. John, John is a master and you guys rock. Uh, Russ says, great job, guys. Uh, we have, man, I just read about five or six of them in a row. Of course, I don't see it. Uh, Michael says, thanks, guys. This was excellent. Thanks, guys. Great tool. April, uh, a bunch of others. Just a lot of good feedback. People are seeing the yeah, value. Too many Sales are just pouring in right now. Yeah. If you haven't grabbed yours, grab um, it now. Goodbye from me and uh, goodbye from Josh. See you guys.